Hi guys, welcome back. We're gonna do something really fun today. We're actually gonna do an Asian noodle called Biang Biang. And Biang Biang is basically a hot oil noodle. And the name comes from the sound that the noodle makes when you slap it on the counter. And you may have seen this on some cooking shows or if you've gone to an Asian noodle house where they make their homemade noodles. But I wanted to share it with you today on how to do it. It's, I've done it once before, so we'll, we'll see how it goes this time around. But I definitely wanted to share it with you because I think it's fun, uh, maybe something you can do with your kids. But I went ahead and I made the dough. So I will put in the comments in my video uh, the dough recipe, but I wanted to show you the more important part of it, which is how to slap the dough onto the counter, all right? So let's get started on that. I went ahead and I did my dough, and I formed them into logs, and I've got six pieces here. And I've got water boiling, so we'll be ready to go once we form the noodles, and then we'll go put it in straight away. So the first thing I need for you to do, this dough is very, very sticky. I've got these logs that I have oiled, um, on an oiled plate. And then now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and oil my counter. I also have a sheet tray ready to receive all the noodles I make, and I'm gonna put it on this oiled sheet tray. So let's go ahead and oil. First clean your surface, make sure it's nice and clean and sanitized. And then now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and oil the surface. And so let's just do that. And I'm just gonna oil this so that it doesn't stick. And this is very interesting. So I wanted to do the pulled noodles, uh, and I, that was a little too complicated for me. So when I found out about these Beyond Beyond noodles, I thought, oh my gosh, I, I think I can do this. And I think you can too. So if I can do it, you can do it. So, all right, I think that's enough oil. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take one of my logs, and I'm gonna put this aside so you can see what's going on here. And hopefully you can hear the slapping too. I have a log. I'm gonna go ahead and just flatten the log. All right, just flatten the log. All right, and it doesn't need to be long. I just wanna flatten it out. And then we're gonna take a chopstick or a dowel, whichever you have in-house, and I'm gonna make an impression. And I'm gonna put it right down the middle and just press down and that's kind of like your guide okay so I have now you can see the impression there's an impression over there and now we're gonna lift it and here we go let's see how this goes you're gonna stretch and you're gonna slap and slap and stretch. All right, it's okay if it breaks. Because you made that indentation, we're gonna go ahead and separate right where that indentation is. And maybe the first ones are gonna come out, but they're not supposed to be pretty, okay? That's why they are homemade. That's why you make it fresh. It's kind of like when you make fresh pasta dough. Uh, they're not all going to be perfect. Okay. We always know the first batch never turns out the way we want it to, but okay. So I'm going to pull it and I'm just going to put it over here on the side. And again, it's not supposed to be perfect. All right. Maybe the second one will come out a little bit better. But again, it's like practice, right? I mean, don't beat yourself up on it. I mean, I'm looking at it going, kind of looks scraggly, but you know what? I made it, it's gonna taste great. So again, flattening it out into this nice rectangle. rectangle. Take my chopstick, I'm gonna make an impression, and press down. And then, here we go again. And this is a very elastic dough. And you heard that? That's the biang biang, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna separate it again. 
because we did make those indentations. And I think maybe next time I'm gonna do it a little bit harder so that when it stretches, I can pull it really easy. And again, it's a learning thing. Like I said, I've only, this is only my second time doing it, but we're learning together. So I, I just thought this might be fun for you guys to see and we can experiment together and then I can show you how it all comes together. So here we go, we got these noodles. I'm gonna go ahead and do another one because I really want you guys to see how this goes. Let's do one more and then we can kind of fast forward to making the noodles, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead, again, I think I'm gonna press harder this time. See if that helps a little bit better. And I think this is the funnest part. So ready? We're going to... There we go. All right, let's, let's separate that. And there we go. Okay. And again, like I said, it's not the prettiest thing, but it's a nice thick noodle. It's uh, tasty. Once I show you, we're gonna put this nice like sauce that goes with it. So why don't we go ahead and like fast forward, and so I can finish this up, and then we can like cook them, all right? All right, I finished up the noodles. I have a pot of water here, and we're gonna go ahead and just put the noodles in. And since they're fresh, they're gonna cook like maybe four minutes, four or five minutes or less. We just want them to kind of float to the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my noodles, and one at a time, just put them in here. And then I have my handy dandy spider. Let's get these noodles in here. And I'm gonna do them in batches. And I didn't I didn't do a lot. I'm just waiting for it to kind of float up to the top. And again, it's about four minutes or so. Um, let me talk about the sauce that we're gonna put in it. So it is a combination of some soy sauce, sesame oil, some chili garlic paste. Um, I'm gonna put some green onions in there. I put a little uh, uh, Asian cooking wine in there and just stirred it up and that's it. It's just a very light sauce. Um, the chili garlic paste is what's gonna make it spicy. You can use guajachong, which is a Korean spice if you'd like, but I just chose that, just something really simple. You, you wanna taste the noodle, the texture of the noodle. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead, and these are supposed to be thick, so just so you know. I'm just letting that just go. I think it needs a couple more minutes. Just so another minute or so. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do like maybe half a batch. So, um, and then kind of toss it so that you guys can just see. I mean, this is quite filling because it is, it is a thicker noodle. I just want, okay, so it's now floating to the top. I'm gonna go ahead and with my spider, I'm gonna drain it into this, this bowl right here. And you can see it's, it's quite thick. So, I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off, because I want, I wanna go ahead and plate this up, because it's, 
it's actually really filling. So let's move back over here and I want you to see this. So here's my noodles. So you can see it against the white. I have, as I mentioned before, I made this sauce. It's just a little bit of soy sauce, sesame oil, some chili garlic paste, um, and that's it. Just and the and the cooking wine, the Asian cooking wine, and that and that's it. And it's quite tasty. You can just adjust it to your seasoning. But I'm going to go ahead and put this straight away on the noodles while they're hot to flavor it. And then go. I'm going to go ahead and toss it and let the noodles absorb that sauce. Just absorb that all. Oh my gosh. It smells so good. I can smell that sesame oil hitting in there. I can smell the, the chili garlic paste. Okay, so let's garnish it up, all right? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put some, I made these little curls of green onions, and I'm gonna go ahead and put that on top here. And if you want to make it even spicier, put some sriracha, you know, you can do that too. So let's, let's try it, right? So um, I just wanted this video to be more of a fun video just to show you technique. Um, I will put the recipe for the actual noodle in the uh, video on my YouTube video commentary so you can see that, but I wanted you to see this. I mean, see how thick this is? See how thick that is? Oh, it smells so good. All right, so uh, let's go try it. Let's try this. Mm-hmm. That's a good noodle. That's tasty. So, I hope you enjoyed Biang Biang and saw how I slapped the noodle on the counter. Be something fun, it's fun work for your kids to do, something for yourself. Um, if you're missing, like I'm missing, I'm missing like some really good Asian noodles right now. Um, so, you can make them at home. So, from my kitchen to your kitchen. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you'll try it. And happy cooking to you guys. Bye.